The DMV flow, right? The way you rap. Um, a lot of people like to say it's off beat or you rap too fast or you rap too slow. What's your take on, you know, how you rap? Because a lot of people that don't live in your area, they're going to say you rap off beat. Uh, a lot of people that say that I got an off beat flow, like, for first time listeners, definitely sound off beat. But that's if you listen to a lot of these artists that are coming out now. It's everybody, like, kind of off beat now. So it's starting to sound on beat, if, if that makes sense. Like, you first, when you heard, like, damn, how can I say it? You first heard Blueface, right? You probably thought that shit was all beat. Like, damn, he all beat his shit, but at the time, Buzz Down thought the honest on it on beat to you. You know what I'm saying? So it just depending yeah. on how you're listening to it or how many times you listen to it until it sound like or makes sense to you. I'm not completely all beat. I might rap before the bass drop. No, I'm not completely all beat, but that's the DMV flow. I guess some people can argue with it and say, yeah, Atlanta. Some people can argue and say this started that, but as far as I'm not concerned, like, well, as far as I know, everybody that said that's the, it's the DMV flow. We got so many artists that's doing it. Like, so many artists is doing it that don't got a lot of light on them. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with everybody that fuck with me, though. You can actually, I respond to DMs, all of that, like I'm a regular nigga. Like, because... I am I'm just passionate about my work. And when you work hard, even though when you don't respond to DMs and shit, I add value to you. Like, I mean, yeah. No, nah, that's real. So with the offbeat flow, do you feel like you're one of the creators of that? Like the pioneers of that? Or that shit been around for a minute? That shit been around, but I feel like that I'm one of the people that's got known for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... You had artists in like 2016 that started um, that's doing the off beat shit, but like I feel like that me and Gunu took it to another level for real. me, Gunu. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, especially in like 2018, you had the Hood Rich Pablo Wands, you had Splurge, you and Gunu. It was like people like to put y'all in this one, like this, 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 um, uh, Y'all own little bubble, you know what I mean? Like it was that thing to where is though people would always compare and try to see who started it and you know, shit like that. But it's definitely a lane now for sure. Yeah, for sure it is a lane, but I don't put myself in that one box because out of all of the artists you name, I'm the only one that switch up my style. So Nah, definitely. And I feel like your accent is so heavy, it sounds like cause a lot of times a lot you know the DMV accent is so heavy, it's kind of like you sound like you from another, like you from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they, I think that's, that's what, what separates you too. Yeah. A lot of people say that. Like, they be like, you don't even sound like you're from the DMV. You sound like you can be from Atlanta or, or something like that. I mean, that's because I don't put myself in one box. And a lot of the artists, they just want to make it, make a little name for themselves in the DMV. But that's why I messed up because back then I only wanted to be a DMV artist. I wanted to just be known where I'm from and keep on getting plays there. But I had to realize it get way bigger than that. It get way bigger than the United States. You can be a United States artist but can't sell out a show with 200 people in the Netherlands or something. I'm trying to be global. I ain't trying to be U.S. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up. So you're singing, right? You get into this thing to where you'll release a song singing switching up your, your whole style 360 a lot of people love it and then you have a lot of people who are like yo zen man why are you singing like we don't want to hear this like what are you doing like go back to the rapping um but but the the debates between your singing seems to help you know you out you know by people talking about well i don't like it and then on twitter they going back and forth talk about the singing and why you you choose to do that and this is the reason why, right? I've been doing the same shit. And this is the reason why that I say, fuck the people that say that, right? You listen to it or you listen to it or you don't. Because look, let's start off. What song can you name besides filing a plug? You know what I'm saying? 
that's just as big as Gucci down. Gucci down, singing, point, singing. I'm trying, yeah, singing. Have you been in love, singing? All of these songs, you know what I'm saying? That I did, that's big hits or that people get on, like with the big artists and shit. Because it's singing, but I understand where they're coming from because that's the original, because that's what got me in my area known. That's what got me known in my area from them listening to the trap shit. So I understand why they would want me to go back to that original origin, but that's like, look, my man was just telling me probably around like 20, 30 minutes ago. Like, that's not, that's not where the money at. For real. No, that definitely. Not money you know, at. the fans, they like to try to keep their art, their favorite artists in that box. Like, they want to hear their artists the way they were introduced to them. They want to hear their favorite artists stay like that for a very long time. Yeah, that's the truth, though. But I want to get new fans. I don't want to maintain old ones. So, I mean, that's how I rock with that one. And it's like the fans, are, it's so hard to please the fans because for a long time, people said the baby's flow. He needs to switch his flow up. The baby, all your songs sound the same. And then the baby's last album was a totally different flow and they still didn't like it. So it was like at the end of the day, you just got to do what you want to do. It just Is this really art at the end of the day? Yeah, but the only difference is but as at once I'm at day level, probably in a couple years or so, like it's gonna really pop off for me because I do it all. But they was introduced to me because a lot of these artists, when they introduce to and they see the people that like it, they never switch it up. So they never get their fans in tune to what they're capable of. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So you get a rapper that been trap rapping all the time doing little piano beats by Crowham or something like that. And then he pop out with a song that sound like Katy Perry and you like, what the fuck is this? It's some shit. But if you introduce him to it, like how I was on every album, same trap, same trap, same trap. If you introduce it to him early, they're going to be used to it, even though they prefer, you know what I'm saying, the trap. Because who don't want to be turned? They're going to play that shit in the club. But what they going to play on the radio, they get you money. That's real. So that's it. Yeah.